What's up guys, it's Dr. Price with Action Potential Mentoring and we're gonna talk about rhabdomyolysis today. So first thing you need to do is you need to think of the two organ systems you need to protect, the heart and the kidneys. So if somebody is rhabdo, their muscle cells basically explode. And so when the muscle cells explode, you leak out two major things, potassium as well as the myoglobin. And of course you're gonna leak out phosphate and other intracellular ions as well. So the next thing you need to think about is how do you combat this? Well, you want to put them on a sodium bicarbonate drip immediately. The sodium bicarb is going to alkalinize the urine. It's going to help you have it. Uh, diuresis of all the myoglobin, and it's going to help protect the kidneys. The next thing you need to do is you need to protect the heart. And so when all the potassium leaks from your muscle cells into your bloodstream, the next thing you want to do is you want to treat the hyperkalemia. So immediately give them calcium gluconate because you're going to have the peaked T waves on your EKG. And with the calcium gluconate, it's going to have a second purpose as well. It's going to actually help replete the hypocalcemia that often ensues because of rhabdomyolysis. Hypocalcemia occurs with rhabdo because you have all the phosphate leaking out of the muscle cell. It's going to bind up all the calcium and it's going to look like there's hypocalcemia. So it protects the myocardium of the heart and it also is going to replete the hypocalcemia that appears because of the phosphate binding up all the calcium ions. The next thing you need to do is if they have hyperkalemia on their labs, you're going to want to treat that with insulin and D50. And you can also consider a mannitol drip as a last line to help cause osmotic diuresis of the myoglobin itself. Hopefully that helps. Stay hungry, my friends.